Hey, I'm Mike Scotchko. I'm sharing this with the rest of the world, so I'll introduce myself. Uh, I'm a teacher, but I came into teaching late. And when I began teaching in 2002, I started hosting MacLab Saturday School. I opened up the lab on Saturdays, and you know what? Kids came in. And this last Saturday, we were having another one of our meetings, and I got an email from Dave Burgess. And if you don't know who Dave Burgess is, go to Twitter, type in hashtag TLAP, T-L-A-P, teach like a pirate, and you will discover one of the most rockin' teachers anywhere. Uh, and I'm privileged to, to know the guy because he taught at our district before he went out to fame and fortune and enriching educators all around uh, the United States and the world. Anyway, Dave sent out an email, well, he, he posted this to his website about a math problem going viral. And because I subscribed to his, his blog post, his website, I, I got an email and I followed it up and I saw this. Now, true confession time, I studied algebra over 40 years ago, and the word, you know, studied probably doesn't apply. Like most of my schooling, I faked my way through. Algebra to me was something I could look at, perform an estimation, and then arrive at a correct answer without understanding algebra at all. So I'm going to try to explain algebra in a second video that's not going to happen right now, uh, based upon my very ill-prepared experience as a student. So, to get back to the point, I looked at this and arrived at an answer in under a minute, was certain I was correct, and I made a simple error several simple errors, actually, and um, I was wrong. Now, in the, over the next, oh, I don't know, 36 hours, I arrived at three different answers. Now, the second answer I arrived at was correct, because this is simple. But, maybe I read it wrong, but Dave seemed to indicate I was wrong with my second answer, so I slept on it, and I got up the next morning, and I saw something, and I was certain I saw something that no one else was seeing. Come on. Come on. Really? Seriously? And I came up with two additional answers, which were completely and utterly wrong, but incredibly enlightening. So, to make a long story short, I am sharing this exact same video with my students and I'm asking them to look at this and tell me what is the answer. Solve for this symbol. Tell me what is the answer to this equation. Pretty simple, huh? Now I'm going to give us room to work. And in a second video I'm going to release after tomorrow's school day, I'm going to go through all this. There are lots of things hidden inside these folders. I'm teaching Photoshop right now, so this is one of those feeding two birds with one seed uh, lessons where, hey, we can learn something about Photoshop, and we can learn something about algebra, and we can learn something about critical thinking, and we can have some fun in the process because education is supposed to be fun, right? Oh, yeah. And I left out some stuff at the top because I don't want to give away what it is I got so utterly and completely wrong that was so incredibly revealing. Some of the greatest learning happen from your greatest failures. And I failed quite publicly <laughs> on Twitter. And thank you for providing this platform for people to hang it on the line, crash and burn, and learn something they would have not otherwise had a chance to learn. So, let's go back and I'll just back up and say, what is the answer? <laughs> 